Hi everyone, it's Megan here today to help you explore a tool called Metaverse. Metaverse is an augmented reality platform that allows users to create interactive experiences that merge the digital world with the physical world. To get started, you can access Metaverse in your browser at gometa.io. Here it will first prompt you to set up your account and once you have logged in you can hit the get started button to get to your dashboard. Once you have created metaverses, this will be your dashboard of all the ones you have created or have copies of. I highly recommend though in getting started that you begin with searching for some metaverses that are already created. Going to the most popular category will give you some good choices to participate in and look at, or if you'd like, you can search by keyword. Most educated Educators are using this currently for review, reflection, um, or even some breakout EDUs, so those may be great words to search. When you find one that you think looks promising or interesting, you can click on it, and then you can access it. From here, to play the Metaverse and participate in it, you will need to go on your device and download the Metaverse app. At the top of the app, you will have a prompt to scan a code. From here, once you scan your code, a play button will pop up on your screen and you will follow the prompts in the metaverse. If you like it, you can favorite it and save it to your account so you can find it later. If you want to share this with others so that they can play it, you can click the share button to get a link or a QR code. Another great tip is if you really like the structure or the content of this metaverse, you can actually choose to clone it. Cloning in Metaverse will give you a copy that you can now edit. This will live in your experiences. So now, this is my version of review time, and if I click edit, I can see the back end sequence that the original creator set up for their review time Metaverse. I think this is a great way just to kind of dabble if you have never seen one, um, because it will give you ideas about how you link things, how you can set up your sequence, a variety of the different types of scenes. And if you like it, you can actually customize it by clicking in the boxes and changing the messages or contents, or even customizing the images. So it's a great way to take what someone else has and kind of personalize it for yourself. I'm gonna back out of this, and I'm actually gonna start from scratch and create a new experience. When you create a new experience or access any experience, it is organized in the form of a storyboard. You can see my current storyboard is pretty blank, but each time they will start off with scene one, which gives you options for dialogue and images. Each scene contains different prompts of what you can do and how you can interact with your participants. This particular scene, I'm just giving them dialogue. So to add that, I can simply type in the box. If I wanna add a character, I can click on the bubble I can search from a very extensive um, library that Metaverse already has, and so you can see how you can search by keyword up here. Or if you would like, you can actually add a character and upload any image you have on your computer. This is a great way to personalize it, so if you wanted to use um, photos of yourself or your students or even Bitmojis, um, it's a great way to kind of incorporate that. However, you don't have to. You can literally just search keywords based off of your topic and click Use. Another great opportunity is to add sounds. Same concept, you have a great library to choose from, or under the add sound option, you can actually record your own voice. If you would like to add an action, something for this um, particular scene to do, you can click on the add an action option. If this is just the way I like it and it's all finished, then what I need to do is come over here to the right and look at my settings. I can customize a few things, but the main thing that I want you to focus on is your transitions. Because this is done in a storyboard, it's all about sequencing and where you're gonna transition next. Currently, once you look at this slide, mine is over, it ends your experience. You see you have some options. You can do nothing where it just stays here. Transition to a scene, a block, you can end it or suspend it. I'm gonna choose a scene and now what I'll have to do is choose new scene because I have no other ones already created. 
Once you get here, you have a bank of pre-coded scenes to choose from. Most of them kind of tell you a little bit about what they do. So you can get your user to input some text for you. You can request an item. You can also give them items, which is a great way to um, gamify or add clues for breakouts. Websites, cameras um, will let you access your to take a photo or a video. You can embed YouTube, also 360 photos and videos, which is a great experience, especially on an AR app like this. Walls, polls, and more. Another great feature for educators is the pre-programmed questions, polls, and walls. Here, if I click on ask a multiple choice question, you can see it sets up my sequence for what my, where I type my question, my answer options, and then it already has it linked for where it goes if it's right or wrong. I do just need to make sure that my scenes are connected and so what I need to do is make sure that it designates it to go to scene 2 once you leave here. To add in your content you simply click in the boxes, backspace out the information that's there and add in your information. Same thing for your answer choices, correct answer, take this out, add in your actual correct answer. You can also click add action to add more options. You can also take these guys right here right click and you can delete them or move them down if you need less. Of course feel free to customize your image for each scene. You can also change the prompt of what they get. Don't forget to look at your actions as well. Um, it currently has try again or give up. If I wanted to change this I could actually make it to get a hint and I could sequence this block to get a hint. Once you have set up your experience the way you like it, you can simply hit back and you will now get to your QR code so that you can share with others to play. I hope this has given you a little insight on how to get started with Metaverse. Thank you for watching this tutorial with me today and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.